Time to talk. A monster? There's a... a monster in the house? Really? Since the day I moved in, something inhuman, non-animal, has been out stubbornly... Stubbornly? That's not how you spell stubbornly, game. Even chasing that well cave, it was chasing me. A and it's not just a monster. There's been hair in the water and faxes and pianos playing themselves. And strange voices. I can't take it. I'm scared. Of course I am. It's admittedly hard to believe. It's true! Oh, fine. Really, it's some kind of zombie. I wouldn't lie about this. I see. Perhaps it's not a monster, but some kind of wild animal. Okay, I understand. Stay at my place for today. Huh? Yep, here he is, inviting us into his room. Ooh, yeah. I've lived there five years and I've never met such a monster. So you should be fine there. I'll look around this place where you sleep tonight. I'll take care of anything strange I see. He's really nice. Th there's no need to. Don't be ridiculous. It's fine. Leave it to me and relax for today. Don't you have an injured arm? Nice place. Admittedly, my mansion is better, but... Your room's very clean. <laughs> I just don't have much stuff. Uh, you look like you got quite a bit of stuff. By the way, Miss Takamura, may I ask you something? What? You mentioned having an illness. What kind of illness is it? Sorry if it's rude. Depression. I take antidepressants. And I'm writing a serial story, so... I see. Then you really must relax. Leave the monster to me. I like this guy. He's pretty cool. Thank you very much. Also, about Miss Saeki. I'd like you to tell me about her. Saeki passed away from illness, yes? I thought to Todd, since she didn't seem unhealthy when I last saw her. She offed herself. Did you not see that chair that... Yeah... My aunt killed herself in that house. It, it, it was suicide. I didn't know. Do you know why? I'm not even going to touch that line. She got married about ten years ago and started living in that house. She had a hard time of it, but she got pregnant after five years. For about five years. She and her husband were very glad. But the child was stillborn. My aunt always blamed herself. My uncle got tired of trying to support her and left the house. That's really sad. Since then, she kept getting stranger. She started saying she was always being watched or judged. My mom and I were her only family, and we shunned her because we're evil. We couldn't support her. We should have supported her, but we couldn't because my mom's a bitch. My mom has terrible hysteria. Yep. She's always been prejudiced against her little sister. My aunt called my mom my mom called my aunt crazy, a murderer. She wanted nothing to do with her. I was afraid of my mom, so I ignored all of it. I thought I knew my aunt's pain. And then she killed herself. If I had been brave and supported her and taken her to the hospital, it wouldn't have ever happened. That day, I went to that house without my mom knowing. I was so worried for my aunt. Her voice just suddenly changed. She'd hung herself on the second floor. I screamed, the rope snapped, and she fell to the floor. My mom didn't want the house. That's really... That's really messed up. Finding your aunt's... Oh, dear. I'm so sorry, honey. She didn't want to... She didn't even want to be reminded of my aunt. When I was diagnosed with depression, my mom recommended I go there. 
said it was a good house for crazies. I really don't like your mom. I'm sure she simply meant to imply I might as well die too. I'm sorry. I've gone on saying too much. I know it's not a pleasant story. It's all right. You've had it very rough. Please, take care of yourself. You know what? You're, pre you're pretty cool. You're I like you. You're pretty good, dude. I'll look around your house, Miss Takamura. Make yourself at home here. It's getting late, so sleep wherever, whenever you want. You can use that bed there. N no, I, um, I shouldn't. I can use a sofa or the floor because it's weird sleeping in another man's bed when we're not dating. Yet. Now, don't be ridiculous. Someone so someone so pretty can't sleep on the so... Uh, uh, yeah, there he goes, hitting on her. I was just waiting for it. A anyway, I'll sleep on the sofa, Miss Takamura. Take the bed. Now then. Aw, he's nice. Mr. Miura is really nice. It calms me to talk to him. Gonna go to bed, honey buns? Can I... I can move up, but I can't move down. What? Okay, let's pop another save. Let's go to bed. I should rest, though I feel bad about using his bed. It turns out the monster's been sleeping with him in his bed. What? Suddenly, I'm not liking him so much. Okay. Okay. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. That's just weird that he came in here specifically when she's sleeping and said that. Nothing seems wrong with the house. So I'll take a nap, too. Oh, the sofa's in here. Duh. He only has a studio apartment. <laughs> I'm not very bright. Day four. Time to wake up. That sound. <laughs> oh my god. The sound we keep hearing, folks. That was the sound of the rope. That's fucked! Also, my computer's unhappy. I'm kind of... How are you back in the mansion? Bullshit game. Bullshit. Yeah, this doesn't make much sense. And then it appears in the damn closet. Could it be Mr. Mira? Did he bring me back here? No, he slept on the couch. Popping another save. I don't trust this. Time to get the fuck out. Because of course! How did he just appear out of nowhere? Yes, this is when we run like a bitch. Run, 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 run in here, run in here, run in here. Hide in here. Seriously? Stop it. Just stop. I didn't do anything. It's not my fault. Wait. What? Again? Three days in a row I managed to get the right place on the first try? Okay, guys, I swear I'm not looking this stuff up. <laughs> oh, 
Well, that's good. Why did Mr. Miura put me back here? He didn't even say anything. Maybe you sleepwalked? The door by the stairs. Here we go, honey buns. Let's pop another save. Last door, folks. This is the only door that's still locked. Let's go. Of course it goes to a basement. Of course it does. S so dark. I can't see anything. It's too dangerous. Was there a flashlight anywhere? Um, I recall there being mention of the flash of a flashlight. Oh, bollocks! Great, I guess we're going to be running around until we find a thing that does things and stuff with a flashlight. I know, I'm so eloquent, aren't I? In the safe? No. In this room! Is this a piano room? No. Um, how about in the kitchen with the utility stuff? That's the bathroom, honey. Scarlet, get your act together. Too many plates, dishes, cupboard, other stuff, more other stuff. I get the weirdest sensation she's still dreaming. Because it doesn't make sense for Mira to have carried her unconscious body this far. How about here? Very supplies, no flashlight apparently. What about next to the bed? The cord to the lamp is cut. I didn't notice that before. Apparently it's not in there either. In their place, maybe? Maybe, possibly. Alarm clock is stopped. Piece of paper, already read that. Drawers are empty. Uh, nothing in the bookshelves. Stuffed bear. It's kind of hard to play the game. I don't know what to do. Somebody tells me no. Uh, storage room? Probably. Small tools. Rooms and dustpans. Detergent and cleaning supplies. Old living supplies, shavers and such. Boxes, more boxes, not in here. Then where in the... The answer room, maybe? Might as well. I saw something about a flashlight earlier. CDs. Ant's password. Um, I don't know what it is. More CDs. Right here. Nope, nothing. About the suitcase. Nope. Dresser's empty. Dresser's empty. 